And yes, you... someone was saying my name. Yeah, that was me. Um, yeah, since you mentioned um, that you wouldn't watch any movies if you if you start feeling uh, some of the characters' emotions, yeah, that's the same thing that my what my sister goes through. Like she cannot watch Bambi ever again because <laughs> the death of, of course, Bambi's mother. Well, it's one thing for a movie to indicate and show and tell and share and give emotions through visuals and soundtrack. That's one thing. To be mm -hmm. empathic means to be able to physically sense the emotions of another person. But in order to do that, you have to be physically next to them or verbally close. If, even online, I could sense it. Yeah. It's movies, though. The, those movies are just that. They're movies. They're objects. Hmm. Oh, yeah. A it screen, a tape, and audio mixed together. That's all it is. It's, there's no physical human form behind it. Yeah, no one's really dying there. A penis monster, <laughs> exactly. didn't, like, a penis monster didn't just explode from this man's turn. Oh, no, no, actors I are like still video, playing in other think, movies. I think video yeah. games can... I think video games nowadays can easily pick on, you know, like, emotions that well now. Like, that, like fucking God of War! God well, of they, War, for example. Yeah, well, video games are weird because you're playing as the character, which means you have an investment in seeing them succeed, because that means you're succeeding at the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. If the video game is doing its job right, and really fucking selling you this character to where you actually give a shit about them, you're... It's more... Like, you're more likely to have emotional investment in them because you care about this character and you're directly controlling their actions. So when something bad happens, despite the fact that you were doing good, then you're like, wow, this is kind of fucking shitty. I feel shitty. Imagine how this guy must feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't get that with Tom Cruise in, like, seven different movies. Because yeah. it's not you. <laughs> in a video game, it's essentially you in the situation. Yeah. Ugh. Put my back. Nice. Oh God! I hear the footsteps. Oh. No. <laughs> even Derek's oh. like it. Even Derek's Ooga, like shot. incoming Ooga, SAX. Ooga. Uh, oh, I think man. I know what I have to do here. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. oh yeah, Derek the Brony. Since you mentioned the uh, unfriended too, I I I really like <gasps> that. Yeah, oh God! <laughs> run! 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 <laughs> one, 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 one. Oh no! It's <laughs> SAX. <laughs> Oh no! Fuck. He's getting chased. Oh. oh my god, she she fucking stays frozen for like a second. For like points for like point oh, five shit. seconds. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, this game fucking this game invokes fear. Golden oh, yeah, you... got fucked. This is this is like honestly, this is fucking this is a way that you do fucking horror in a video game like Metroid. Oh. Because like in Metroid you usually aren't supposed to be afraid of sh because you can just sit there and fucking blast him out of the way. This is one of the things that you literally cannot kill. You do not have the firepower that is yeah. capable of bringing this thing down, and that's why it's so fucking scary. That's why I feel like if they're gonna, if you're gonna have a fucking horror type game, you should just not be able to fight the fucking monster. Honestly, you shouldn't be able to, because like Dead Space Two. That was a horror game. I love Dead Space 2. It's such a, I, I love fucking playing it. I love the story. I love like all the fucking items and fucking power ups you can get. But eventually, you just stop being afraid of everything. And I guess that's kind of the point of the game is that you're kind of working through your fear, and now you're just this utter fucking badass by the end of it. All right. But it stops being a horror game at about I want to say like after the first segment. After the first segment, it's it's just pretty much an action game. <sighs> okay, so I think I think one. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <sighs> okay, here we go. The second chance with a. Nice. Hey, no. <laughs> take, nice. To take the edge off of that one. <sighs> oh shit! You know what's funny? Since you were streaming during Fourth of July, I wanted to open a cold one for you guys, but but that was at the and that was I watching the parade. Come on. Lay the damn to super light up another joint. Here fuck. we go. <sighs> shoot, shoot, shoot! Uh, oh, yeah, oh fuck! Ah! No, it no, well, I'm 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 trying to lay the super bomb. But I just it rolled into a fucking ball, man. That's what's oh, holding yeah, me G. back. I have to go past that fucker. 
That's what's so f like. Ugh. Also, I, I need to have like, a better save. Honestly, point. as soon as you go into the room, I would say just fucking lay a bomb and go to town. Like, that's Damn what I've been bomb. trying to do. Uh -oh. Yeah, he was trying to, but he kept curling up to a ball for some effed up reason. No, 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 no. I've been trying to, to, yeah, I've been trying to get into the ball, yeah. but she wasn't. She kept getting get hit. Get on the ball. Uh, get out. <laughs> so I assume in this situation you can't wait for her to leave the room. No, you actually had to go past her. You have to go past her because she's literally just right there fucking yeah. waiting for you. Yeah. Who the oh. fuck is Cage the Elephant? Oh, that's oh, it's a rock band. Oh, cool. Oh shit, garage garage rock has become has been trending. Yeah, I agree with the notion that like, you know, something is really scary and you can't actually stop it. Or at the very least, if the way that it takes to fucking stop it puts you at really high risks. Hmm. I mean, fear for me, and this is why I love amnesia and alien isolation because oh, absolutely, it nailed this for me. Um, Having atmosphere and just making noises. Um, Run! So, damn it! Rather than jump scaring you. Yeah, oh. but I hate. I mean, I'm a sucker for jump scares. Yes, I get scared. La, la, la. <sighs> oh. I was doing Sorry. so well, and then one last. You were. Shot. You were. God damn. Anyway. Fucking SAX um, is a bitch. Anyway. Um, yeah. Honestly, so, what I would say is just farm health in this room and then save again. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right yeah. now. Yeah. That's part of the mm. reason why I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm just low on health. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I just remember watching one of my favorite clips from the Scott Pilgrim movie. Ah, but yeah, Bliss, what was you saying? Yeah, well, um, what were you going to okay, say? Okay, what was I saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, amnesia, what Alien Isolation and Amnesia do well is it plays off the fear what? of the unknown. The, Are you the kidding stuff me? You can't see, and that for someone Christ, like how me, how much damage do these things cause? Like half your fucking health? Oh yeah, no, like that's that's one of the things I don't like about this game is that they do obnoxious amounts of damage from your basic. On fucking top room. of the fact that their maneuvers are fucking obnoxious. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, the, the fear of the unknown. The fear, fear of the unknown, using atmosphere to basically trigger fear, instinct, instinctual fear, stuff like that. Allowing your imagination to run wild of what is actually in the dark, what could be there. That, that That's yeah. what scares me the most. The unknown. I mean, it doesn't help the fact that fuck... It doesn't fucking help the fact that amnesia... Well, actually, it does help the fact that amnesia has a fucking sanity meter. Which oh. I think was... I think that was one of the most fucking brilliant additions to the game because like one of the big things in Amnesia is like, okay, the monster can't fucking find you in the dark. So if you see something that's super fucking scary, like there's this there's this thing called a sanity meter. Ow! And yeah. basically Fucker. if your sanity fucking meter gets hell, too high, you'll actually part. start now I have less health. You'll actually fucking you'll actually have you'll actually start like hallucinating shit. And if your sanity meter gets too high, you'll actually, like, start taking damage and fucking die. Because you're dying of fright. So in mm. order to get rid of- in order to help your sanity meter go up, there are two things you can do. You can A, either solve puzzles. Like, if you're in a room that has a puzzle, if you solve the puzzle, really? your sanity meter will jump, like, three this fucking- take for it'll, fucking ever. It'll jump, like, three fucking parts. However, ah. if you- the other way to do it is, well, there's also like a little potion you can take, but those are pretty rare. The other way you can handle it is you have to stay in the light. But if you stay in the light, the monsters are more likely to find you. And if you see the monster, then guess what? Your sanity goes down faster. Yep. Much, much, much faster. So you I have played, to. I played games. the game. I admit this, Solar. I have both Amnesia and Amnesia uh, Machine, machine Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I haven't been able to conquer the sequel because I, I made it down to the entrance of, I guess, what no. you call the basement. And as soon as I reached it, though, something big ran past the door. And I'm like, oh. nope. And I haven't oh, played big one. <laughs> I, I, I actually haven't bought a machine for oh, pigs, actually. Yes. That's pretty much uh, the only fucking reason I haven't played it is just because, like, yeah, I yeah, kind of forgot blah, blah. it existed. Oh, I'm too scared sure. to continue. 
<laughs> There's a lot of new horror games that have that uh, sand but yeah. meter type aspect, especially that new game Visage. I definitely agree with the like unknown thing because when I was live streaming Alien Isolation and that scenario happened where you have to wait for the freaking tram thing in the dark. Oh Jesus, and that you can was hear the a fucking yeah. nightmare! And you hear the fucking thing? Now for me, obviously it was different because I decided to do the stupid thing and started whacking the button because I'm a moron. And then the alien showed up, but then my game fucking broke and then the alien couldn't kill me. Yeah. So I had to restart the game. Fuck. Or, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm not the only one who has that problem, okay. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, Alien Isolation tends to have a nasty habit of freezing up or crashing. No, but this wasn't a crash. The alien legit couldn't actually touch me. Four and a half hours. Like, it kept clipping into the ground when it lunged me, so I had to leave that section, and then after that, it was fine. Yeah, that, that's a common glitch, too, I found out. Hmm. Why not? This is why I'm Watched not. Watched a lot of Let's Plays. <laughs> <sighs> you know okay. what's bad, so do I. <laughs> this is why I'm not a PC gamer. <laughs> God damn fucking bees! But yeah, I mean, alien I... on the consoles too. Alien bees. I've already lost like... two energy tanks. Uh, fucking uh, hell! Buzz, buzz, buzz. Alien Isolation, for as much as it can terrify me, is a metric fuck ton of fun. Because of that. Still haven't completed it yet. I need to finish it. I know I need to finish my Let's Play, but I'm just too busy with BrodyCon and stuff. And honestly, the only reason why I did the Let's Play is because my husband wanted me to. I don't, it doesn't actually get a whole lot of uh, response or views, so I feel like people don't really care about it. Oh. At least my viewers don't. Thank I get you. maybe on, on an average 500 views per video of a Let's Play, so eh. Nonsense, I watch them. <laughs> you don't know. Damn it! Are you a liar? I watched one of them from behind you, like three feet, yeah. on the couch. No, I, I could have jump scared you, but I didn't. <laughs> spin dash. It's the damage is like, spin dashing. It's pretty much like yeah. the hardest entry. Thoughts on Outlast games? I don't know anything about hardest Outlast. entry. Oh, I nice. haven't played Outlast, so I have I don't played. Know they were they were pretty cool. They're pretty good I've... though. Game. I've played Outlast 1 and it's little DLC the completion and holy shit. Bro, the like, DLC it, of that game Yeah, it's like the game is like the game and his expansion have a way of fucking with you and making you really, really uncomfortable. I guess also making you scared this sometimes. Is you can almost get your, this is a spot you almost get your dick cut off. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, it's like I'm gonna give you guys context for both scenarios from both the main game and the actual DLC. In the main game, you meet this guy called Doctor Traeger, and he cuts two of your fingers off. Oh, and, lovely! And that's a really uncomfortable scene because you have to watch the fucking thing and then watch yourself vomit afterward. All in first person. Yeah. And then, in the actual DLC, the Whistleblower DLC, you encounter a man called Eddie Gluskin, and what he does is he chases you through, I can only imagine, an insane recreation of a house, or some shit, and eventually catches you, and then lock is like, you get locked in a locker, and some shit like that, but then you have a perfect first-person view of him mutilating the genitals of other Kiss inmates my in the ass. asylum. I went Why? out that because fucking he... door. And he's like, why is he doing this? Because he wants to make the perfect bride for himself. <sighs> oh, come on, come on, come on! Oh. And yeah. then, after you've seen him castrate two people, he strapped you to the freaking table where the buzz saw it. On this sort of thing where he can pull you slowly down onto it. Genitals first. But then you get saved uh -huh. at the last second. Just as the buzz saw is just barely scraping oh. the hairs on your side. I have an idea for Golden real quick. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hmm. Um, I, I, are you still collecting energy? was or help collect as much as you can and then save so you don't have to keep doing it that's literally what i always kept doing it, it looked like you were just collecting energy and then you went straight to see okay, the you know what? The, i'm gonna have to do off. this reset that is a very nice nickname for sax i'm gonna use that for jerk off <laughs> <laughs> jerk off <laughs> the nipple twister <laughs> Pickle my nipple. No, no, no. You know my. Okay, so there's a there's a type of fish in Texas. Uh, I, I just a common perch. Um, I remember one time at the lake, one of them actually latched onto my dad's nipple. 
Uh, I see. And he had to yank Horror it off, and, and he laughed Ooh. his ass off, and then he said, Kids, I'd like you to meet the t Texas Titty Twister. Oh, my nipples, they hurt. They hurt when I twist them. <laughs> so that's uh, what we call the him? bitch. Texas Titty Twister. No, we couldn't eat it. It was too small. Someone has to have that, like, someone needs to have whatever species that fish, that fish was legally changed. Get up there! <laughs> Jesus. The Luigi fish. The Texas titty twister. The Texas titty twister. <laughs> what? Fucking, I, I like to, I'd like to point out that that's not the actual name for the fish, that's just I, what they yeah. called it. No, that's yeah. what my dad called it for fun. <laughs> Just, just, just to clear up any potential confusion, because people are like, God, I heard Texans were, I heard Texans were strange creatures, but this is some new shit. <laughs> Run! Get out! Get out! Get out! Go! Get out! Get out! Get out! Please! 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 Switch! Switch! Get out! Go! 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 Please! 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 Please Fuck! Little fucking cock sucking piece of dog shit! No, don't tell me you died. Yes, Please, I did. No. Wait, no. You shoot okay, that no, that's bullshit. She was shooting at you through the wall. Yeah, that's the wave beam. Oh fuck this game. I don't like this that's game. That's the wave beam that was. This game sucks. Fuck this game. Fuck. Fuck what this the game. Fuck? This game Seriously? Sucks. Seriously? What? No. What? Fucking plant the super bomb, go all the way through, do not get knocked back in the door. And have them respawn like that. That's horse shit. Man. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. It's like you. Yeah, I don't know how long that encounter lasts, but it looks like you were nearly there. You were there. right at the end. That the end of that <sighs> encounter is you're actually you were actually supposed to wait until she left the room, and then you could have. Planted the super bomb and gotten out of there. Yeah, I got too desperate. No. Get the fuck up there, Samus! Grab the ledge! At least, like, at least we know you can, like, confidently do it because you made it to the end of the. I have much more health runway. now than I did before. Oh, yeah. God. Goldie, I believe! Get, get the fuck over here. What? I already took a fucking shot? Fucking freeze can him! Can we get whatever. A, you got this gold Plant yeah. the goddamn super bomb, launch that missile, run the fuck over there without getting fucking hit. Now shoot those goddamn switches. That one too. Run your fucking ass off. Grab onto that ledge. And hi. Okay. Woo and be quiet. I saw that fucking matrix dodge at the end of the fucking level. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. Cue the fucking Metal Gear Solid stealth stick. <laughs> Okay. Right, oh my fucking god. Yeah, see, all you had to do was wait for her to go away. Oh Bitch! my god. <laughs> Fuck you! I know. Where do I go now? Yes, you are a massive. Okay, where do I go now? Do I, do I have to backtrack? You no, please don't backtrack. Please don't backtrack. Please, for the love of god, no. Do you need to drop another bomb up there? I don't know. I used the super bomb and that should completely like give away every spot that uh I, I think I think what that was for is in case you accidentally got her attention, you could go up into the ceiling to avoid her. Hmm. Well, where oh, the you hell literally is supposed to go? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me yes back. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. <laughs> Wait. Well, actually, I know. I know it's in the section before okay, the hiding room. There's a below. way down. Oh. Okay, time to break more shit. Yeah. I seriously need to rejuvenate my health because I. I really don't want to go through this again. I meant like, all of my health. Like, oh Jesus. Let there be a safe point. <laughs> this is how the game invokes fear. Because Just kidding, a... here's a boss fight. I'm kidding. <laughs> the fear of fuck shit. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, no! There is I gotta no do it all over again. No. Oh. Uh. I think I think you need this blunt more than I do. Yeah.